Hello, good evening. Anybody there? Give it a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds to catch up. Hello. Anybody there? Oh, good evening, Claire. Hi. Hi, Ian. Hi, Hartley family. How are we all? Shaz, are you there? Hello. It has. It needs a really good cut, Sean. I'm going to root to be doing. It's horrible. <laughs> and I've just let it go wavy. So, have we had a good day? Happy World IBD Day. Got my little box. Happy World IBD Day. Have we all had a good day? Did we have any coffee mornings or... Um, we all wearing purple. I still got my purple t-shirt on. So we've got three rounds tonight: tea and coffee. Oh, what my light box? Yes, it is. Sorry, but you knew what I was trying to say. Tea and coffee. Tea and coffee. Nursery rhymes and Devon and Cornwall. I nearly forgot them. Sean Hartley, why are you texting me? <laughs> okay, are we ready? Have you all got a drink as well? Cheers. Happy World IBD Day. Okay, round one, tea and coffee. Number one, what tea blend is thought to be named after an 1830s British Prime Minister. It is, it's just, it's ma ma mainly Coke. And something else. So number one, what tea blend is thought to be named after an 1830s British Prime Minister? Write your answers down. Do I start with a tricky one or not, not too good? Not too bad even. Sean Hardy, stop messaging me. <laughs> Number two, who or what is Mrs. Potts in the film Beauty and the Beast? Who or what is Mrs. Potts in the film Beauty and the Beast? No googling, searching, any search engines. If you don't know the answer, then you don't know the answer. Number three, which war saw the rationing of tea? Number three, which war saw the rationing of tea? Number four, in which century did coffee first arrive in Europe? In which century did coffee first arrive in Europe? Was it A, the 16th century, B, the 17th century, or C, the 18th century? In which century did the, did coffee first arrive in Europe? 16th, 
17th or 18th century. And number five, the last one of this round. What country What country is produces the most coffee? Sorry, I had to reread what I'd written. What country produces the most coffee? How'd you get on with that round? Tea and coffee. I had to research them all as I don't drink tea or coffee. You've all gone quiet. Anybody there? You're already quiet tonight. Nobody's talking. Okay. Are you ready for the nursery rhymes round? Oh, you're thinking, sorry. Sorry, okay, I'll let you think. <laughs> no, you're not. That's not allowed. <laughs> what? Sean, what, what have you got to say to me? <laughs> oh, now my mum's texting me, what's going on? <laughs> Doesn't she know I'm doing a quiz? Okay, nursery rhymes round. Number one. If Monday's child is fair of face, Tuesday's child is filling the gaps. If Monday's child is fair of face, Tuesday's child is dot dot dot. <laughs> Number two. In the rhyme, this little piggy, which toe had roast beef? Number two, in the rhyme, this little piggy, which toe had roast beef? Are you all sat there singing it, this little piggy? <laughs> Picking up the basket. Number three. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Number three. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Number four, what did Georgie Porgie do to the girls to make them cry? Number four, what did Georgie Porgie do to the girls to make them cry? They went up the hill to buy McDonald's, did they? <laughs> They're all shut, you can't. Number five, last of the nursery rhymes round. What was Little Miss Muffet eating while sat on a tuffet? Hi Michelle, good evening. What was Little Miss Muffet eating while sat on a tuffet?
That was the nursery rhyme round. How'd you get on with that round? Okay, are you ready for round number three? Devon and Cornwall. As we are the East Cornwall and West Devon group, I thought I'd go for a Devon and Cornwall round. Number one, which Devon town, oh, do you like my nails? <laughs> Number one, sorry, got distracted. Which Devon town in March 2007 was the first in Britain to introduce its own local alternative currency? I'll repeat that one. Number one, which Devon town in March 2007 was the first in Britain to introduce its own local alternative currency? Number two, which famous British person was born on the 6th of June in 1868 in Plymouth? Number two, which famous British person was born on the 6th of June 1868 in Plymouth. Number three. What is the Cornish word for Cornwall? What is the Cornish word for Cornwall? Number four. Beef, steak, potato, onion and what other vegetable make the ingredients of a traditional Cornish pasty? Number four, beef, steak, potato, onion, and what other vegetable make the ingredients of a traditional Cornish pasty? Number five, the final one, final, final one of this round and the quiz. What colour is the cross on the Cornish flag? What colour is the cross on the Cornish flag? How did you all get on? I'll go over the answers in just a moment. Lots of likes from the Hartley family. Are you ready for the answers? Tea and coffee, first round. What tea blend is thought to be named after an 1830s British Prime Minister? And that was Earl Grey. Oh, the cat was happy with me. <laughs> That's nice to know. <laughs> so the answer to number one was Earl Grey. Number two. 
Number two, who or what is Mrs. Potts in the film Beauty and the Beast? She's a teapot. Number three. I don't know, how did you not get Earl Grey? Do you drink Earl Grey? Number three. Which war saw the rationing of tea? World War Two. Number, number four, in which century did coffee first arrive in Europe? It was the 17th century. Seventeenth century. And what country produces the most coffee? It's Brazil. How did you all get on with that round? You adding up the scores? Any five out of fives? Four, well done. Anybody higher? Two, well done. Three, well done. Anybody higher than four? Well done, Hartley family. Okay, the nursery rhyme round. If Monday's child is fair of face, Tuesday's child is full of grace. Full of grace. In the rhyme, this little piggy, which toe had roast beef? It was the middle toe. The middle toe had roast beef. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? To fetch a pail of water, not McDonald's. They went to fetch a pail of water. What did Georgie Cordy do to the girls to make them cry? He kissed them. Number five. What was Little Miss Muffet eating while sat on a tuffet? Her curds and whey. That was the nursery rhyme. How did you all do? Any five out of fives? We've all gone quiet. Five out of five. Yay! Well done, Hartley family. And I think that round was for you guys. Yay! I think the Hartley family and Baker family, yay, well done, requested a nursery rhyme round. So that was for you guys. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. You've remembered things from your childhood, that's fine. Okay. Devon and Cornwall round. Number one. Which Devon town in March 2007 was the first in Britain to introduce its own local currency, alternative currency? It was Totnes. Oh, sorry. Okay, it was the Baker family. Hi, Trudy. Good evening. So it was Totnes was the answer to number one. Which famous British person was born on the 6th of June in 1868 in Plymouth? It was Robert Falcon Scott. Number three, what is the Cornish word for Cornwall? It's Kerno. Oh, no. 
Number four, beef, steak, potato, onion, and what other vegetable make up the ingredients of a traditional Cornish pasty? It was a swede. Swede was the answer to number four. And number five, what colour is the cross on the Cornish flag? It is white. How did you get on on the final round? You're adding up your scores. Four out of five, yay, well done. Four, well done. Thirteen out of fifteen, yay, good score. Claire, how did you get on? Oh, well that's because you're not, you're not from Devon or Cornwall. Although you do live here, so. Well done, everybody. 11 in total. Yay! Excellent! Fern Britain, what? What? <laughs> well, that was a quick quiz tonight, guys. I've run out of questions. That's it. I'm done. Any requests for any more rounds? If I can do this again in a, in a few weeks' time? Don't make it too tricky for me though. No requests? Excellent. <laughs> You're welcome, Hartley family. Well, oh, sun's really bright in my eyes then. Um, well, that's it for me. Countries and capitals, says Orland. Oh my goodness me, Orland. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh. Something easy. <laughs> Countries and capitals. Okay. I'll have a think about that one. Well, happy World IBD Day. The idea was to, well, originally we thought that we would be able to do a coffee morning, but that's not, couldn't happen. Geography. Okay. So just... Another little reminder, I know it's back to front, sorry. Happy World IBD Day. Oh, and that would be great. Yes, please. Okay, stay safe everybody. See you all soon. Thanks for tuning in and doing the quiz again with me tonight. Bye, see, bye.